In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we are gathered today uh, to uh, celebrate our nation's independence. And as we do, let's call to mind moments when we have uh, failed to uh, manifest the uh, freedom that Christ has won for us in our own lives and ask now for the Lord's forgiveness and peace. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, earth, peace peace to to people people of of goodwill. We We praise praise you, you, we bless you, you, we adore adore you, you, we we glorify you. you. We We give give you thanks thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly Heavenly King, King, O God, God, Almighty Father, Father, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ, Christ, only begotten begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Father of all nations and ages, we recall the day when our country claimed its place among the family of nations. For what has been achieved, we give you thanks. For the work that still remains, we ask your help. And as you have called us for many peoples to be one nation, grant that under your providence, our country may share your blessings with all the peoples of the earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. As dawn was breaking, the angels urged Lot on, saying, On your way, take with you your wife and your two daughters who are here, or you will be swept away in the punishment of Sodom. When he hesitated, the men, by the Lord's mercy, seized his hand and the hands of his wife and his two daughters and led them to safety outside the city. As soon as they had been brought outside, he was told, Flee for your life. Don't look back or stop anywhere on the plain. Get off to the hills at once or you will be swept away. Oh no, my lord, Lot replied. You have already thought enough of your servant to do me the great kindness of intervening to save my life. But I cannot flee to the hills to keep the disaster from overtaking me. And so I shall die. Look at this town ahead is near enough to escape to. It's only a small place. Let me flee there. It's a small place, is it not? That my life may be saved. Well then, he replied, I will also grant you the favor you ask of now. I will not overthrow the town you speak of. Hurry, escape there. I cannot do anything until you arrive there That is why the town is called Zoar. The sun was just rising over the earth as Lot arrived in Zoar. 
At the same time, the Lord rained down sulfurous fire upon Sodom and Gomorrah from the Lord out of heaven. He overthrew those cities and the whole plain, together with the inhabitants of the cities and the produce of the soil. But Lot's wife looked back, and she was turned into a pillar of salt. Early the next morning, Abraham went to the place where he had stood in the Lord's presence. And as he looked down around and toward Sodom and Gomorrah and the whole region of the plain, he saw dense smoke over the land rising like fumes from a furnace. Thus it came to pass, when God destroyed the cities of the plain, He was mindful of Abraham by sending Lot away from the upheaval by which God overthrew the cities where Lot had been living. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. O Lord, your mercy is before my eyes. O Lord, your your mercy mercy is before before my my eyes. Search me, O Lord, and try me. Test my soul and my heart. For your mercy is before my eyes, and I walk in your truth. O O Lord, Lord, your your mercy mercy is before before my my eyes. Gather not my soul with those of sinners, nor with men of blood my life. On their hands are crimes, and their right hands are full of bribes. O Lord, your mercy is before my eyes. But I walk in integrity. Redeem me and have mercy on me. My foot stands on level ground. In the assemblies, I will bless the Lord. O Lord, your mercy is before my eyes. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. As Jesus got into a boat, his disciples followed him. Suddenly, a violent storm came up on the sea, so that the boat was being swamped by waves, but he was asleep. They came and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. He said to them, Why are you terrified, O you of little faith? Then he got up, rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was great calm. The men were amazed and said, What sort of man is this, whom even the winds and the sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the uh, opening uh, penitential rite, uh, one of the invocations uh, that I used today was, uh, Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. It's a reminder to us that the Lord's attentive eye is upon collections of peoples, including of of nations, and not simply one nation who he's chosen to himself, which we believe that God has been been faithful to and that uh, we are a a product of uh, the life of the church, but that he has his eye on all lands and and all peoples. And what we see in the readings today are are a reminder of that. The first reading today from Genesis, um, if you remember from last week, 
Abram and Lot split up. They were given different lands. Lot got to choose first. He clearly chose poorly because his poor city that he was living in got burned to the ground today. Uh, but, but Lot and Abram, they got different lands. And so Lot moved over one way. Abram claims another piece of land that God insists he's going to be blessed with. So what happens today with Sodom is land that hasn't been given. It's not, quote, unquote, chosen land. It's something else. Um, in the gospel today, we see the Lord and the amazement of the disciples uttering declarations that calm the winds and the sea. It's a reminder to us that the, the Lord's voice um, calms uh, the agitation that happens on the earth. Um, and that one of the things we believe that the Lord does for the good of his people is that he purifies, he cleanses, he rectifies the, the land that Lot had entered, chosen for himself, had become dangerous, lawless, uncivil. It, it was a threat to humanity. God intervenes. In the boat today, these storms had become a real threat to the disciples. The Lord intervenes calms everything, rectifies, heals. And so you and I should uh, have some confidence as we celebrate our, our nation's birthday today um, that the Lord continues to do that on the earth for our own nation and for others. Um, that the Lord looks with mercy upon those places in our collective communal lives that have gone a little haywire, that are dangerous to us, that are not life-giving, and that he engages in such a way to bring about some stability, some communion. So, uh, brothers and sisters, uh, may you and I uh, continue to implore uh, the God's mercy upon our nation and upon all nations of the earth and trust that what the Lord has done throughout salvation history for the betterment of humanity, he will continue to do for us. Friends, please stand as we offer our, our needs and intentions. We pray for the church, for Francis, our Pope, James, our Bishop, all clergy and religious, all laymen and women, that by our growth and holiness this day we might draw others to the good news of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Uh, we pray for missionaries, especially those in hostile territories that they might continue to proclaim the gospel in and out of season. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those peoples of the, the world where their inalienable rights provided by God have been threatened or denied them. We ask that the Lord in his mercy might intervene to provide us spaces and lands where people can experience true freedom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those men and women whom God has called forward to help lead our nation. We ask that the Lord would grant them wisdom and insight to enact laws and policies to bring about true justice and peace in our nation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in thanksgiving for those who have served our nation to protect it and its freedoms and those who continue to serve it today. We ask the Lord would protect them, grant them strength, and heal them uh, from the scars that they have experienced from their responsibilities. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are sick, the hospitalized, the homebound, those under hospice care. We pray especially for those who battle mental illness and disease, who are easily misunderstood or mistreated. May the Lord surround them with compassionate and competent care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died and those who will die today. In his mercy, may God forgive the sins of all the departed and welcome them to the joys of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray in a particular way this morning for Mary Kate Hughes. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we ask that you hear and answer these prayers, confident that your Son truly has been sent to gather the nations into the peace of your kingdom. May your goodness continue to flow out over the nations of the earth, trusting that you will bless us and heal us in ways that are good for humanity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Father, who have molded into one our nation, drawn from the peoples of many lands, grant that as the grains of wheat become one bread and the many grapes one cup of wine, so we may become, before all others, be instruments of your peace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. He spoke to us a message of peace and taught us to live as brothers and sisters. His message took form in the vision of our founding fathers as they fashioned a nation where we might live as one. His message lives on in our midst as our task for today and a promise for tomorrow. And so with hearts full of love, we join the angels today and every day of our lives to sing your glory as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, hosts. Heaven, Heaven and, and earth, earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, we proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, and, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come again. again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit 
may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an even offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we lie for an unfailing prayer. May this, may this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, and the baptism of the salvation of all the world. We plead it to confirm the second judgment of the Christ for us, with your servant, Christ Sarko, the establishment of the Holy Christian, and all the clergy of the Evangelical King for your own. Listen to the second to the prayers of this family, whom you summon before you, in your compassion, your mercy, Father, guide us yourself for your children in Christ and throughout the world. For the family of Christ and Christ and to all who are pleasing to you, as they are passing from this life, give this kind of blessing to your kingdom. We are supposed to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory to our Lord Jesus Christ, so whom you bestow on the world, all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the love we share in this Eucharist, Heavenly Father, flow in rich blessing throughout our land. And by your grace, may we as a nation place our trust in you and seek to do your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for God's blessing. Respond to each prayer with amen. May God the Father, who has called us to be one human family, fill your hearts with deep longing for peace and harmony. Amen. May the Son of God, who came to share our life and make us children of our Father, enable you to grow in wisdom and grace before God and the human family. Amen. And may the Holy Spirit, who is the bond of love between the Father and the Son, Unite in love all here present. May he be the bond of love among you, our nation, and all peoples. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.